Now, NBC 26 meteorologist Brittany Merlot. What a wonderful Wednesday, Wisconsin. Were you wishing for a warm up for the holidays? Because you're getting one. Yesterday was the 11th day in a row that we were below our average high temperatures. We should be hitting 40 degrees. We're coming in shy into the 30s. Speaking of the 30s, it's been creating ice on the Great Lakes already. It's literally into Shawamigan Bay. We're seeing ice reports plus on the north side of Lake Superior into Canada. Not to mention the channels and the locks and the bays and the shores even into Lake Huron, Erie as well, bringing it about 3% ice coverage at the moment. But that's all going to change because we wished for a warm up, didn't we? We're going to welcome that and that's going to be moving in from the south as we go through our day today. So right now it's not here just yet. Mountain could tell you that it's nine degrees right now into the North Woods, 20 at Green Bay, 12 into Watsoma. Here's a little interesting fact for you. See these numbers? These are our dew points. The temperatures cannot, will not drop below the dew point but if it hits the dew point, you get patchy fog. And if the dew point's below freezing, that's freezing patchy fog, which could create some slick and icy spots into Watoma, Oshkosh, Fond du Lac, even here into Green Bay and Pembine. So beware of that. The fog might get worse before it gets better. It should clear and out of here by 9.30, 10 a.m. After that, we're going to see the winds moving slowly out of the south at about five miles per hour. So not a windy day, not a cloudy one either. It's going to be bright and beautiful. The sun's already coming up. First light of the day is looking great throughout the Midwest and a lot of the nation actually for a good Wednesday commute. Now, if you're headed off to the Pacific Northwest today, you might see some delays as we're looking at a storm building and then swinging down and swooping in to the deep south for Thanksgiving. Texas is going to be getting snowfall while heavy rain hits the Gulf Shores and moves up to the East Coast. By Friday night, we're going to see the system start to lift up. So Saturday, if you're headed off to the Ohio Valley or coming home from the Ohio Valley, keep in mind it's going to be a rough commute out there. By our Sunday afternoon, we're going to see some of that system scrape us, bringing a light wintry mix, mainly rain though. And when it comes to the snow, where's the slippery commute's going to be? Like I mentioned, the Texas Panhandle getting their fair share of snow accumulations. Meanwhile, like I mentioned, only thing we have to worry about is a few flurries flying around potentially Friday morning and then maybe mixing in on our Sunday afternoon. But for today, you hit the roads, you're good to go. Just it's very busy out there. So please be careful. Gobble gobble. Go easy on that throttle for me, please. Everybody drive safe. I hope you get to your your family safely and they get to you safely. We're looking at a mix of clouds and sun right now. It'll be abundant sunshine by this afternoon as highs climb to where they should be into the 40s. Creasing clouds overnight, patchy fog as possible. We're going to stay cloudy and overcast for our Thanksgiving. But like I mentioned, we could see a few little spotty showers into those afternoon and evening hours, but nothing that's going to wreck our plans. You could still get outside and play some football. You can do that today too. Temperatures climbing to the low 40s, bright and beautiful out there. Tonight crashing below freezing. Keep in mind that patchy fog if you are driving around. Be safe, low beams on. And then tomorrow we're going to climb into the mid to upper 40s, above average, finally something. Another thing to be thankful for on Thanksgiving. Some nice mild temperatures are going to stay with us for our Black Friday. The sunshine's going to just beam down and warm us up to maybe nearly 50 degrees on Saturday, all ahead of that little system scraping us on Sunday. And then we get our system system targeting us midweek next week. <laughs> 45 on Thanksgiving. Is that breaking any records whatsoever? Or is that kind of normal? Oh, we had 50 degrees back in 2015, okay. so it's not going to break any records, but we're still going to enjoy it. <laughs> we're getting close. All right, Brittany, thank you so much. We'll be right back after this, but first let's go.